<coughs> removing the seat of a Toyota Corolla 2019. Uh, you have these plastic protectors in there. Then you have the screws that goes in there. Then thing you have to do is remove those four screws. Disconnect the blocks. Remove this lock. And the seat is out. Now I recommend to unplug the negative battery because you have a airbag on the side. Okay, so I'll continue by removing those locks from here. One on top, on the bottom. This only secures in here. Like this. Remove this. And you expose some of those connectors. This is just uh, kind of tagging in there. Pull it up. This is the cable for the airbag. Then we're gonna we have to proceed to remove the seat cover so we can put the seat warmers. So right on the need of this fabric, you have this locks. So they just kind of have a hook in there and a hook right there. It's not like this. So I should just have to remove it. And the way that I found out to remove it is just by using a screwdriver. Insert them in there and pull it out. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip the seat and see you um, remove this plastic cover from the other side and start the, removing the part. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this plastic. It has a screw in there that needs to be removed. Uh, also on the bottom, I believe it secures that. So when, once I remove the screw, I'm just gonna pull it out. Okay, so once you remove the screw, the handle kind of just sits in there, comes out. Hit this handle, it has a lock in there. On this, that little piece of metal right here. So what you have to do is come here with a screwdriver, lift this, and pull it out. All right, so I removed it. Locks, like I said, have the room. What I did is I used my head on those pliers and kind of press them in there so it will release. I did the same thing on the other side. This one is just a lock in there. Uh, and then kind of wave it through and, until I come up. So if I have the side cover. Now I'm going to continue removing this locks so I can lift the cover and put the seat warmers. So that's already out. This one right here, then you have to kind of pull it, release it. Comes out like that. Um, I have to see how to remove the ones underneath, but I don't think I will because that's just what I'm going to do. I'm going to pull it out like that. Um, um, all right, so I'm gonna try to come get it up. Same thing with this side. It just locks in there that comes out when you pull it. So let's just kind of pull it up. It comes out. It has one in here. It has this in here that I'm gonna remove well because it was kind of hard to lift it so I'll fade it out there was another one so on there so I want to remove that and try to get it out okay there's two more locks in here so those are just rings uh, kind of goes in this hole what I did is I insert little notes pliers separate them and then remove it there's another one down here so that's goes in there for the cover now I'm gonna try to pull the cover out and see if I don't find any more uh, locks anyway. So there is four more oil rings in there. They need to be removed to pull the, the seat in. It looks like the top has the same thing. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, so I removed those. 
Maybe I can actually see the wire in there, so I removed it, I kind of push it out. And now I'm pulling it from the front and it's coming out. So. All right, I'm gonna flip it and continue. Okay, so I removed this lock, plastic lock from the front, and I was able to remove the whole bottom. So I'm gonna work with the, those wire locks in here. Here, the good one, the line right here, the line right here. I'm gonna work with that and see what I can do. Um, I don't have the tool, but I'm gonna manage with what I have. So, to remove all this wire locks, what I did is I went to one side of the wire, I removed glue and then just kind of pull it from the other side so on this side i already made the flat go straight and i'm gonna pull it from this one right here so i kind of need two hands but let me see if i can show you pulling it Come on. So now the sides are out, and then I just kind of run it through it. And now I have this. The ones in the middle that I need to figure out how to come out. See? Oh. Now I need to figure it out the middle. Okay, so I did exactly the same thing on the center. Uh, when I fit them through, I'm gonna straighten them out a little bit so it makes it easy to go. But I remove both on the center, and voila, covers up. Nothing broke. All seems to be good. Now what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna proceed and put the sea warmers. See, everything good. Nothing happened. If you look in the bottom, this is where you run wire and this is where the load is supposed to be same thing on the on the sides so of course taking it out is easy um, without breaking it of course not that but I didn't break anything now I need to put everything back and make sure it fits okay so you have you have your carbon fiber sheet uh, what I did is just kind of fit it what I need to when I'm going to place it. I have a thermostat in here. So kind of fit it, mark it, cut it. They give you some extra strips so you can actually fall on the corners. I kind of patch them up so the bars inside are not exposed. Patch them up. Have a thermostat in here. What I did is it just take a little bit hole in the sponge. So for that to sit almost flat, it kind of sticks out a little bit, but I'm assuming I'm thinking when you sit, it won't feel like a thing. Then you pull out the tape and kind of sticks to it. So you see, it sticks. So I had that done. Um, now I need to put back the seat cover. That's going to be a little bit of a challenge because I have to run the wires to the, the, the hoops right there uh, and make sure it's tight. Alright. Okay, so I ran the cable, the wire, spark. I ran it from this side. Make sure I secure. Run it through the, the loop. This one right here. Run it through the loops. Run it through the holes. Run it through the other side. And on this side, what I did is I used my pliers and bend them and make the loop so I can close it make a loop like that and close them up so right now that part is like nothing okay. so i'm gonna go ahead and run the other one and show you guys okay so i already finished the two of them it looks good i already did that one and the way that i was 
doing is hit the wire. I don't know if you guys can actually see it. I'm passing through the hoops as the end, so I'm gonna just keep fitting it all the way through and then just bend it. Um, I'll show you guys how it until uh, it looks in the end. Okay, so that part is done. Um, it looks pretty good. This is a little, the little things where the uh, pad junctions are. You can't cut those, you can't avoid that. So I'm hoping when I stretch it's gonna uh, get loose a little bit. So on the back seat, you have the zipper, zip it on both sides. Um, right here you have this locks. I like the wire locks and things like that. So what I did is I flattened one of the sides so I can uh, go ahead and, and grab this one right here and pull it and uh, lose all those hoops and then just put it back in there. So once I remove the wire, uh, get this out so I can actually pull the cover from the front and then install the heater back. To remove the back, I have to run this wire. I don't want to disconnect for the airbox. So I'm going to remove it from here. There's a plug right there. So I'm going to release all this locks and run back. Okay, so uh, remove the locks. But now I have to remove these whole rings as well so I can pull it to the front. Okay, so by removing those to release all that area, um, I'm not gonna remove anything else. What I'm gonna do is uh, I have plenty of space in there um, to apply it, so I'm gonna apply it out of there. Um, I don't have to do any cuts, so just stick it and uh, all right, I'll show you. Okay, so I ran the wire. Well, now I ran my cable, this is for that. Then I'm gonna close it and start putting the whole thing together. Um, I'm gonna show you how it looks. All right, so this is how it looks. The back unit. Um, now I'm gonna put the seat and continue with the assembly of the seat. Okay, so I attach everything on the old rings right there, the ones on the side, this plastic ones. Black ones in here. Cover. This is the two cables uh, for the heaters. One from the bag, one for the seat. Everything else is all put together. This is how it looks. Um, it's still on the side because you have to put the covers on. I put the covers. I'll show you when you got the, the final thing. All right, so I'm all done. That's the bottom. Those right here are the two warmers. I them put together. Back. Okay. Put it, put it on the putter facing me so you guys can see the final product. Alright, so that's the final product. What's up? Um, starts from here and goes down the back. This one starts from here and goes all the way down here. This is where the thermostat is. You can feel with your hand. This is where the thermostat is. Okay. So that's all done. Um, I'm gonna run the cables for the um, this cable battery that connects to the warmers and 
Nee. Pa, 